Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with... Jump Tyson? Uh, why am I with Jump Tyson? Well, to be 100% uh, honest with you, I'm. this is going to be basically the Viking funeral for this game. Uh, I'm going to be using, as you can see, I have over 3,206... 3,286 of these orbs, rainbow orbs. I got some tickets, got 50 tickets. Um, this is basically, I've played this game back when it was called Work Collection a whole bunch, and I think it's finally time for me to let go, because uh, uh, this game's just not what I want it to be. So, and so today's video is going to be basically me doing all this, and then this is going to end with me um, uninstalling this game. I just felt like I needed to do these summons. So I can at least say, like, hey, this is the end. Goodbye. No more again. Uh, mainly because I feel like that would be nice to have at the end, I guess. Also, this game has never... Also, since the last time I played this game, I think there's a lot of characters they've added. Like, uh, this guy right here. Who I cannot remember your name, even though... I want to say it was Pop? You were really good in the original War Collection. That's what I remember. Uh, no. Leave me alone. I don't want to buy your pack when I'm about to close the game. I will be summoning on basically Yuna and uh, uh, jo not Jotaro, <laughs> um, not Joseph either. Which Joe are you? Um, part four, Joe. I cannot believe I'm forgetting your name right now. Uh, let's see. It goes Jonathan, Joseph, Jotaro, and then Josuke. There you go. Uh, Josuke and Yuna. I'll be summoning on them, so uh, that's today's video, and I hope you like it. I'll be mainly talking about Orc Collection, I think, and any of these Shonen Jump guys that I end up getting along the way. Um, so why don't I like this game? Well, that's one good reason. Uh, this game just is not built for me. I don't very much care for the way it plays. Um, I should also mention, by the way, if you do end up liking this- oh, it's Tanjiro. Um, if you do like this game, I'm not in no way saying, like, hey, uh, you're wrong. Enjoy what you like, man. This game's just, you know, not for me, and I think it's time for me to move on and make space in my phone. Get rid of this, uh, part of me. I think that's, uh, hello, Nami. You know, it's a help, it's a way for me to go, there's no, there's no way in my mind, like, it's hard for me to, like, put into words what I'm trying to feel, because this game is, like, makes me feel so many different things. Like, um, if this was still Orc Collection in its original form, I'd still be making videos like crazy for it. Uh, funny enough, if this game had not come out and not been the game that I basically wanted to play a whole bunch, um, I would also be making a crazy video for you. I forget the name of you. I want to call you Belle because you look like Belle, but that's not your name. Um, yeah. Oh, Reborn! Ah. <sighs> I can't- that- that's a character that was never in the original War Collection. That was, I guess, added to this game. Which is cool. Uh, that's why I feel like it's fine for me to finally just kind of let go. Because it seems like at this point, the people who are playing this game like this game and they play this game. I just could never get into it. Mainly because I feel like <laughs> they took all the lessons of what people wanted from War Collection and then they did a terrible job of making a new game. Like, the main thing I feel like they was the biggest thing they always said is like, Oh, there's no story mode. And I was like, why? Uh, who cares about that? How about you again? Um, no, <laughs> stop asking me. Um, yeah, pe they, they always said people wanted story from it. And I feel like they've kind of gone too heavy for it. I think one of the most annoying things about starting this game, oh, hello, Yusuke, is no, is... Um, there's unskippable cutscenes. So there's just a lot of dialogue in Japanese that I can't read and I have to constantly skip through it if I want to get through anything. So it actually made the beginning portions of this game just super slog worthy. And once I actually got into PvP, I just never really fell for it. I just like couldn't get into it, which is a shame. I really think like there is a part of this game that I think would totally, uh, oh hello Popo, that I could totally get into and that part of it needs to be in English. It's actually very similar to Grand Cross, I guess. Um, I would never want to play Japanese Grand Cross uh, ever in the history of the world because uh, it seems like there's just so much to actually kind of 
get going with it. Um, so, hello, Bussin. Um, so, I don't know. I think it ends up feeling weird for me. I don't know. I'm, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It's a very weird emotional thing to realize that this is actually legitimately going to be the last time this thing is going to be on my um, phone. I was waiting so long for oh, another Tanjiro, but this one's green. I was legitimately waiting for this game since they announced that original War Collection was in a Yuna! Yay! Hello, Yuna. I love Yuna so much. I love her so much. <laughs> In this one, I think the, uh, the the thing I that seems to be for this game is that it seems to be doing much better off than it was with original War Collection. At least it looks like to me. Um, as long as they're still releasing characters, I think they're pretty close to the one year anniversary for this game. I think. <sighs> now I have to freaking do this, which is annoying. Yeah, the, I also didn't like the inventory space. Like, again, I think there's a lot of jank to this game. How many orbs would this take for me to go from? 30. Alright. I'm never using these for anything else, so... Boom. Yeah, um... Let me quickly just do this and then keep talking. I don't know, a lot of things- oh no, I'm not- I'm keeping you in a baby girl. You'll be in there. You'll be there at the end of my box. I also don't like this summoning system where you do one- I'm gonna keep you two reborn. Where you do one thing at a time, it just is super annoying to me. Uh, but to be fair, that is a thing I have a problem with with any gacha with single summons. I feel like um, it's too slow. I want to just do nothing but multi-summons. Um, so the fact that this game only has single summons is really annoying. Oh, hello. You were also not in original War Collection, I feel like. No, you. Ha I think you were, actually. You were that girl that was a, a raid boss, I want to say. Or, or, or uh, I forget what they were called, because it's been so long. Um, man, it really has been so long. Um, ooh, Bobo Bo. Rainbow Bobo Bo. Bo. But yeah, I, you know, I digress. Again, if you enjoy this game, I have no problem with you enjoying this game. I'm not here to 100% bag on this game. I feel like there is something... There's something in this game. I just feel like I don't have time in my life for it anymore. Um, and of course, there's no... There was. I really did try to be fair when this came out, but my love for original War Collection is just too strong that the fact that Jump Tyson is what was replacing it was never gonna be it was just never gonna work out in the end um, you know it's not the fault of the game it's the fault of the developers honestly ooh a five star Frieza I think this is the first time I've ever pulled a five star alright no don't care don't ask me again um, yeah no we'll just stop also was not a fan of the multiple element things. You know, that's just me. Again, I really feel like if this was in English, I would be all for it, but it's not, so... Ooh, another Yuna, yay. But it's not, so... Hmm. It's just lost on me, I suppose. If, it, if in, a, in a perfect world, I would have said both games could have existed. Um, but they can't, <laughs> and this is the game. Oh, hello guy from Black Clover, who I can't remember the name of because I don't read or watch Black Clover. Unlike Bassoon, I know Skit Dance. I love Skit Dance. Skit Dance is fun. And my love gives me another Bassoon, I suppose. A lot of us supposing in this video. Hell no. Let's keep, let's keep going on. Let's see if we can get some Rio City Hunter. Crunchyroll recently actually added a whole bunch of City Hunter stuff. Um, I don't know, I've, been, I've always been super interested. I've always wanted to read City Hunter, but the um, the people who were translating City Hunter stopped with 30 chapters left, and so it's just unfinished. Another Yuna, thank you. Man, only here at the end does this game give me what I want. 
I remember when I was originally playing this, if you can see the first video I ever did for Jump Tyson way back in the day, um, uh, way back in the day, almost a year ago, um, still gets watched a whole bunch too, which I'm generally surprised. It always makes me feel like, is there just not a lot of people making videos for Jump Tyson where I'm like one of the people that gets constantly up there? It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, but I guess there was a certain amount of like people who I guess associated or collection with me. Not to say everyone, obviously, because you can't. Oh, there goes my phone. Even my phone can't handle this much jump, Tyson. It's like, oh no, please stop. That's fine. Oh, hello. oh what? No, back to this man. We're gonna get down to it. We're down to the finals of it. Oh, there we go. Uh, but yeah, let's start from going into... I've always wanted to get into City Hunter. Actually, that's the fun thing that I really like about this game, is that I really like the idea of a Shonen Jump game in general. Um, just because there's so many cool different worlds that can interact, so many different characters. It also exposes people to like lesser-known um, series, like Ninku. I would never know about Ninku if it was not for War Collection. Just not an anime that a lot of anime slash manga that a lot of people talk about. Um, makes me actually wonder. Maybe there was too many obscure, um, too many obscure uh, manga in the original base game. That kind of hurt. I remember there was a lot of people who were waiting since day one. Were like, "Where's Kaniku Man?" And it took forever for Kaniku Man to actually get into the game. Um, and he was like, a, no, who cares about friendship? What I care about here is getting my main Joe bro over here that I completely forgot the name of at the beginning of this video. Hello, Reborn. Uh, let's get back into it. Uh, Nami. I also saw that there was something in this game where you could have a Luffy with weird looking pirate stuff. <laughs> Which I thought was really funny. They had a costume, which was not a thing that existed in original War Collection for a lot of reasons. Because they would just make a new card. Ooh, lightning! Oh, Alright. Suna. No problem with Suna. I'm pretty sure I already had a Suna, but... Hello, Karama. That's another thing I kind of remember about this game, is that the rates for this are... Not the greatest, but I feel like the main point of this game is actually buying packs and getting tickets for stuff and not actually doing what I'm doing here. Um, but it doesn't matter since I'm. <laughs> this is my final thing with this game ever, so this is the end of it. Uh, hello, Bassoon. But there's a whole bunch of tickets you could buy. I think I saw that they had a free five ticket, which is nice. Nice of them to give to people, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. Let's keep going. It's gonna be real funny that I literally started with this video with all these orbs and I'm not gonna get a single one of them. I've got a lot of Yunas, but zero of, um, of, uh, I cannot believe I'm forgetting your name. Let's see, it goes Jonathan Jotaro. No, it doesn't go Jonathan Jotaro. It goes Jonathan Joseph Jotaro. Um, Geo Jolene. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, and then I don't. Uh, and then it goes literally back to you in terms of naming conventions. Josuke, thank God, man, what is up with my brain today? It's too sad. The idea of making this video for me is just too sad. Of course. Uh, going back to doing this. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, go down here. Nope, keeping all my copies of Yuna. That's for me. All these units of these other dudes, though, they can leave my presence. And presence meaning where my current vicinity lives. Yeah, I'll keep Reborn, too. Who, who doesn't like Reborn? I love Reborn. Look at that baby. No, keeping you, Yuna. Sorry. Alright, back at it. Oh, wait, is this the right banner? 
Yeah, it is. Okay. Back to it. But yeah, it seems like, for all intents and purposes, this game is going to do just fine, at least until the, we'll see how the one year anniversary goes. At least it seems like they're able to hit their Twitter goals now, at least from what I see from Twitter. Um, they seem to be doing perfectly fine. Actually, did I end up unfollowing that Twitter? I think it ended, no, I didn't, because I remember um, Joseph coming out. Ooh, I got the Prince of Tennis. Thank you, Tennis. Who doesn't like Tennis? Probably people who aren't princes of tennis, I suppose. Come on. Uh, I am still surprised, that, by the way, that that freeze has been the only five star in this entire video. It's probably gonna end that way, too. If you wanted to actually take bets of uh, how many five stars I'll end with on this game, uh, you can start right now. I'm gonna say it's only gonna be Frieza and that's it. Uh, because it sure seems like that's the only character <laughs> that I'm going to get. Um, besides all these three characters. To be fair, the, I, from what I remember, you can actually take a lot of these characters to five. Um, which is good. Uh, that's what you could do in original recollection. Um, and every like color, I think, is slightly different from the others. It's weird to think about. The more I think about trying to... I really wish that this game was in English. Because I feel like I never actually gave it a fair shot. Um, but there was just so much to learn. And then when it came time to looking... Ooh. Thank you. Video Girl AI. Um, when it came time for me to be like, Alright, let's see how um, people like... Let, let me wait for um, the people who I rely on translations to translate this. And it turned out like, oh no. Uh, they kind of don't actually care for it. Kenshin! I don't think I had Kenshin previously. It was just a real, like... It's a bummer. It's a very sad story. Because I really feel like um, this game doesn't need the baggage of Ore Collection. It really should have never had the name Ore Collection. They should have just allowed Ore Collection to die and then actually made this mobile game on the side. Um, I feel that would have been the more humane thing to do, honestly. Ooh, I was about to say giant boob Nami, but regular Nami is also giant boobed. Uh, bikini Nami, that would be the accurate way of saying it. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, bummed out, forever bummed out. Just as like I'm bummed out about my summons currently. They're not great summons, they're okay summons. Mm. The funny thing is, is that, which is, this is something that's vindicative of all gotchas, but all the characters that I'm pulling now are the same ones I remember pulling and being hate and hating pulling back in the day. Like, oh, I got another one of, I got another Kurama. Great. Can I have a, a better thing? And then the answer was always no. I feel like, um... A lot of games suffer from that. I can understand it with games that have stuff like, um, good rates. Oh, I got Saint Seiya. The Pegasus Seiya. Um, I can understand it if you have, like, really good rates, but no pity in this game. <laughs> there's no nothing. Uh, at least I don't think there's a pity. If there was a pity, maybe I hit it with Frieza and now I've reset the pity. Who knows, to be honest. I sure as hell don't know. Get back in. Come on. Go. We're almost done. We're almost there at the end. Thank you, anyone that's still sticking around, by the way. Let me talk about some moments I remember really liking in Ore Collection. Because that's what I like to do from time to time. Uh, the great thing about... Do uh, well, if you want to talk about the different landscape of how things were when Ore Collection first came out... Um, I first heard about Ore Collection back when I was in the Dokkan uh, Reddit mod. I was a Dokkan Reddit mod, and they showed, like, oh my god, there's, they're making a Shonen Jump gacha game. And at that time, I think um, Blazing had already come out. Dokkan at this point had been well established. There had been some other gacha games. From what I remember, the big gacha was always 
Dokkan, and then from there, more Shonen Jump style games started coming out. I think there's been a JoJo game that's been around since the beginning of time. Um that I can't remember the name of, or I think Diamond Records, I think one's called? I don't really remember. But, um... Ooh, let's go here. Uh, the idea was always is that, oh my god, they're gonna have an access. Like, the, the, the art for it was sick. They had a Kid Goku, which at that point in uh, Dokkan, there was no real good Kid Goku. And the feeling was always like, oh, this is, this is gonna blast it out the water, because you have literally an infinite supply of characters, some of the best, most iconic characters out there. There's no way for this thing not to just completely... We expected it to be on Dokkan level of popularity. And it turned out like... It never even reached... Um, one month out Dokkan level of popularity, to be honest. Uh, I love the game, but... It was really rough at the beginning. It was still trying to find out its place in the entirety of it. PvP was constantly changing. Uh, there was constant changes to like... Uh, character stuff, like, um, what was it? I think it was training items became, I can't remember the exact change, but there was a big change that was like, oh my god, this is, oh, it, there was no longer a way, you had to grind pens and stuff, and then, um, they took away your ability to use pens and you had to use actual units, so people were like, what the hell? You have to use units to awaken stuff? That seems greedy. And uh, I was one of the few people who was always like, this is going to be better in the long run of things because it's going to be way, they're going to be, they're going to give us a way to get units um, easier. And they did, they introduced tickets. Because up until that point, there was no real ticket system. You just kind of had to get lucky. Uh, but that was one big major change. But there was constant big changes going on um, to the game in general. And I feel like it finally found its footing sometime around... They were about to release Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, which was amazing because the manga art for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan was one of the best. It was so good. Um, it got a lot of people hyped. That's how I got um, Zen back into the game. That's how I got D Free back into the game. Um, and this just never hit it off. It's, it's just sad to say that I, I don't feel like, I, it, at least for me, again, I always, whenever I say it never hit it off, I actually don't know how good this game is doing. I assume it's doing as good. They have to have to crunch some numbers for them to go like, oh, no, this game is actually doing much better for us um, in the long run of things. And I have to go like, okay, that's the way it is. Um... I don't know how, but if you say this is better for you in the long run, this is better for you in the long run. It feels like they tried to create something that was addressing all the issues that they were having with ore collection, because I assume ore collection made them next to no money. And they had constant hype stuff coming out. Um, constant next level hype, and none of it ever reached um, high places, I suppose. Um... There was this whole change to the tower that they spent, I think, months hyping up and then saying, like, it's delayed, it's delayed, delayed. And then when it finally came out, it turned out like, oh, this kind of sucks. It's super hard for no reason. Wow, all, got, all the old waifu units from War Collection. They came to say hello and say goodbye. Pick hello again. Um, yeah, it's crazy to think about. It's also crazy that we've almost gone 3,000 orbs on, on this banner. Plus tickets, and we have not pulled one single. I forgot your name again. <laughs> oh, this is why he's not showing up. Josuke, boom. I was about to do the whole JoJo remember thing, and I remember the last second. Uh, they was like, oh, you know, your name's Josuke. I'm gonna wait. For, I can't wait for the reveal of someone going. It's actually not Josuke. And I'd be like, oh, that's heartbreaking. I thought it was Josuke. Ooh, hello, Bubba Bo. But yeah, you know, it took a very long time for the game to be found in its perfect footing. But once it found its footing, it was so good. It was so much fun, and there were so many cool characters in the game. There was Dai, you had Super Saiyan Goku, you had uh, Super Saiyan Gohan, you had Full Power Frieza, you had, um... I think it was called Bunkai... Ichigo, I forget, you had, um, the 
Dark Tournament, Yusuke, you had a horse, uh, Cascade. You had just like a lot of fun meta units. You had um, Kira Light from um, Death Note. Oh, so many cool things. It's a shame we never got L as a as a unit. I would have loved an L uh, card because I would have loved the scene if he was anti cool headed like Light was or something. Would have been really cool. We never got um, we never got the promised Gear Two Luffy that was used in a lot of promotional art because it seemed like there was a lot of like stuff that was supposed to happen that everything like went off tracks very quickly. Like there was supposed to be a um, a kid soccer, I believe. With a, um, along, because there's a kid Sasuke and there was a kid Naruto. Um, so there was supposed to be a kid Sakura, but things were going so bad from the get go that they were like, oh no, released the, the time skip Sakura right now. And they released time skip Sakura, uh, way before, um, we ever got the, I think it was Sage Mode Naruto and Suzano Sasuke, if I, if I remember the name of the modes correctly. Might have been Amaterasu, I can't 100% remember. Um, so, it's, it's weird to think about, like, how, you know, everything seemed fine, at least from a player perspective, and then it turned out, like, no, everything was burning around it. Um, I guess that's what happens when you don't meet the demand of what's needed in your game. Um, uh, crazy to think about. And speaking of demand, we are going to actually end this without pulling a second five star we're gonna end. <laughs> can we at least have a yuna to end it all yuna no jintama our gintoki i believe is his actual name Ooh, kaniku man i mean i'll end with a kaniku man and that's it everyone oh yuna you beautiful beautiful woman what missions did i complete I was about to say, what the hell missions did I complete for this? Nope, don't care. Did I complete a mission here? Mm. Nothing of import. Alright, so only one thing left to do now. Alright, Jump Tyson. We never really hit it off, but you know, I am going to be kind of sad to see you away from the library. So... Goodbye. And I hope you, I wish you the best in all things that you do in the future. I just won't be there for you anymore. Well, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it might be. Probably with a happier tune, but who knows? This is a long video. All right, goodbye, everyone. Have a nice day.